My name is Gina Marie Ruiz. I'm here representing myself. I'm an Army veteran, retired 100%, no criminal background. I'm here to address serious concerns regarding Judge Lydon S. Garcia of 383rd Judicial Court of El Paso County. Her name is really Lida Ness, minus the Garcia. She added that. This is about my grandson, Max, whom I've had custody of for nine years. He's only 11 years old at this point. Final order was signed here in the Travis County 2018, putting him in my care. Um, at that time, he was five years old. Um, I've had him ever since he was one years old. In the final court hearing, Travis County, I was appointed conservator with the right to make all important decisions where Max lives, his upbringing, his education, and medical care treatment. The father at that time, who was my daughter's boyfriend, was also joint managing conservator with monitored visitations, while the mother, my daughter, was possessory conservator. These roles were put in place because both parents were not fit parents. Both parents were absent from Max's life for many years at a time. When they had him, Max suffered from abuse and neglect, either to him or exposed him to these abuses and family violence. Then I made the mistake of moving to El Paso County and ended up before Lyda Ness and lost my Max. Judge Ness made decisions that were not in the best interest of Max or his safety, and she did not care. The, file, the father filed for custody. There have been zero contact from either parent for more than 10 years prior to that. April 24, 23, I filed motion to modify temporary orders based on a professional recommendations to cease visitations to Max PTSD, despite the judge's removed Max licensed therapist. She restricted discussions of Max's statements from the Chambers of Com Conference. Um, he indicated to her about these abuses and she disregarded all of his um, claims. Those are also violations of Family Code 153.002. During this past December, Max indicated to me, I'm just gonna go off of this, I'm done. Um, I'm very nervous, as you guys can all tell. She forced him, she, she physically removed him on a number of occasions. Bailiff physically removed him, dragging him down the hallway. He indicated his fears. She, the judge still forced him to do visitations. He told me he was gonna do self-harm. I got him medical attention and I'm sorry, I got him medical attention and I suffered. She removed him from me for getting his medical attention. 